Welcome to Ching Chong and Whitey episode two, which episode is two. which is episode seven hundred and twenty four for our daily life. Basically, well, we haven't known each other for even a year. Not which really. would be three hundred sixty five days. So. Oh yeah, you're right. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> it could not be episode seven hundred something. Uh, how's your New Year, Desmond? That's good. I was just telling Chensi, I'm I'm building a product right now. I don't need to get into the details of it, but. I'm like building this digital product. It's the first time I've ever done it. I just showed it to you. I, I'm very, very proud of it. I feel like it turned out really well. Like I went out. This is what I was saying. I'm really proud of myself because I, I set out when I went back home. Mm-hmm. I live in Colorado. I went back home. And I was like, I'm going to make it a goal to record this. And I went back home and I did it. But here, the obstacles was, was I didn't have the equipment I needed. My, my my brother was supposed to help me, and his girlfriend has a camera. And they were like, yeah, we're going to help you. And then they kept pushing it off. They are like, well, we can't help you Wednesday. Can we do it Sunday? Okay, Sunday. Oh, well, we can't do it Sunday. Can we do it third? And then it was like, fuck, no. This sucks. Then my ex, I was supposed to do it at her house because I need a, I need a house where I can talk this loudly where no one's home. And then her and I ended up getting into an argument, so then she couldn't help me. And I was like, fuck. So now I – and I was like, you know what? Stop making excuses like – Stop making excuses. Like, if I'm going to get this done, just find a way. Like, if I had to get this done, could I get it done? So then I decided, fuck it. I, I, know, what I, I know what I need to do. So I went to Best Buy. I bought, like, $5,000 worth of equipment, put it all on my credit card. Um, and I asked them. I was like, can I return all this and if I need to? And they were like, yeah, yeah. You're like, within 14 days, you'll get all your money back. So I bought, like, $5,000 worth of equipment, went home, set up the cameras the night before, got everything ready. Went over, like, what I was going to talk about the, the night before. Just kind of, like, went over, rehearsed it. Then I got up early the next day because I knew everyone was going to be out of the house. Like, I woke up extra early, got my coffee and everything. I knew everyone. I knew I was going to have the house for two hours alone. So I p- specifically bought the stuff the day before. I knew I was going to have the house alone for two hours. So I woke up, and I got everything ready. And by the time everyone left, I, I boom. I got up. I'd press the record buttons on the cameras. I would sit back down, and I would talk directly into the camera about what I was going to talk about. Then I'd get up, press stop, press start again, sit back down and talk. And I had set the cameras up earlier. I'd asked my dad, I said, I asked my dad to sit down and I, I made. So did you I, hook up with the, your ex-girlfriend? Mm, I did. No, no. But you, you said, you just told me you got, you got into an argument. Like we did after. So, so you just fuck her and ditch her? Oh, dude, your breath smells. Fuck. I know. Okay. 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 Yes. I did fuck my ex, and it was actually some of the best sex I've ever had, like, in my life. Why did you ditch her? What do you mean I ditched her? Like, why did you get into an argument? Oh, yeah, so this is what happened. So we hung out one night. Um, she, came, she came over. Well, actually, we... So, no, get this. This is a long... Hold on, let me break this down. Okay. We hung out one day. We went to the mall. We went to the mall, and here's the thing. I'm seeing another girl here right now. I'm seeing another girl in L.A., I don't want to say their names. You know you know who I'm talking about, though. But yeah. I don't want to say their names for this. So I'm seeing another girl right now in L.A. That girl, her and I were getting super close. So I was like, I didn't know if like we were a thing, like if I could see other girls or not yet. Like I was like, I don't want to ruin this for to see other girls. So I was at the mall, and then I was hanging out with my ex, and then I was going to go meet her, meet, meet her at her house afterwards. I was like, obviously something's going to go down once we go back to her house. But then... I went on the phone with the girl that I'm seeing in LA and we were talking on the phone and I asked her this question. Next thing you know, I'm on the phone with her for like an hour, but I'm sitting outside my ex's house. And then finally I get off the phone and I go inside my ex's house and she's like, I've been waiting for you like 40 minutes. What have you been doing in the car? And then I was like, fuck. Um, I, and basically we got into a huge argument. We didn't get into an argument, but she's like, kicked me out. She's like, fuck off. Like, I'm not okay. like, you can't do this. So it's like, fuck. So basically... I was like, I just ruined getting sex with this girl so I could – because to be on the phone with this girl in L.A. Then yeah. we hung out, and, and then finally I was like, fuck this, dude. I'm just going to hook up with her. So then a few nights later, I had her come over, and then we ended up fucking that night. Some of the best sex I've ever had. It was amazing. It was, like, super hot, super <laughs> awesome. Like, I used a – have you ever had Sex God Method? Dude, no. I was dirty talking. Like, I don't normally dirty talk. I was dirty talking with her, and I was doing it so well. Like, oh my god, it was. So, she was so wet. Like, she just kept coming and coming and coming. It was like, it was. We were doing all these different positions. Like, it was hot, dude. Like, some of the seriously, some of the best sex I've ever had. 
Then we hung out again another night. And uh, we were in the car, and I was, like, driving too fast. And she was like, your driving is giving me anxiety. And I was like, my driving is giving you anxiety? And then we, it just spiraled out of control. And then I was like, do you want me to drop you off? And she was like, yeah. And then I dropped her off. And uh, basically just spiraled out of control. And Usually like, it goes down to sex in a porn. Mm, yeah, not this, no. <laughs> basically, but I, I, we ended up fucking still. But yeah, that went downhill. And I'm mad at the girl I'm seeing here, so fuck. Just now? What do you mean? No, like I'm mad at the girl. Um, I told you're you. mad at the girl. Yeah, I'm mad at the girl I'm seeing here. So you she, met like, the girl she, like, in never Colorado. Taught. She like, like basically like, it's really weird. If I call her, like she'll always answer and she'll always talk to me for like an hour, every time. Yeah, but she never. But she'll never call me first. That's good because she's a girl, you know. She's yeah, but it's to... annoying. But 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 after a while, I get it. I get it at first. I get it at first. It's like kind of the man's job to like push things forward. Mm-hmm. But after four fucking months, after four months of talking to each other, like you're in a position where it's like you need to feel wanted too. And if if I don't feel wanted, if you're not hitting certain criteria that I have, that that I need to feel good about a certain relationship. Mm-hmm. Then I have my own boundaries. I'll draw them, and it's like if you're not giving me the kind of affection that I want, bye. Gotta have strong uh, boundaries. You know what I mean? I don't know about that, dog. I mean, because you, you, girls will get really. I mean, everybody gets used to the same pattern. You know, like you're like, oh, you always call me. You know, why don't you call, stop calling me? You know, something wrong with you. You know, no, no, I, but go, I don't. But I don't go. call her a lot. That's the thing. I give it days in between. But it gets annoying to the point where it's like. I, I decided. I was like, let's just see what happens if I never call her. Like, is she going to message me? It's been no. six fucking days. <laughs> it's been six uh, fucking days. Not a text. Not a message. Nothing. I haven't heard from her in six fucking days. I don't even get to go home for Christmas. Chill, dude. Does that have to, <laughs> literally, what does that have I don't to do even with get. Anything? I don't even get to... I, I don't even get back. get to get back to China during Christmas. I mean, there's not even a fucking festival in China, so... You know, you just yeah. I'm just, just. I don't understand just, the correlation. I don't know. Just I don't know. Like, what are you crying about? You know, just. Well, I mean, if you want to have a healthy relate, anyways. Like, yeah, that's a whole other topic. Um, Tensi, are you excited to go back home in March? Uh, yeah. Like well, I, he doesn't I, sound like you're excited. He's going back home I'm to China in March. Right now. Yeah, but like, yeah, you know, you get to. You're gonna work on the iPhones, right? Fuck you. Well, why are you going back home? Because my IDs are about to expire. Why don't you just go back to Tijuana? Well, fuck you. I don't li- I don't, I'm not from Tijuana. <laughs> but I thought every three months you could just go down to Tijuana, get it renewed, and then come back up. I mean, like, I, I don't, like, I, I would think about moving there, but... Tijuana? Yeah, but it's... it's Yeah, it's. I want to do some other stuff in Los okay. Angeles. Okay, so. <laughs> you want to hear something else that's weird? I got you mean S- about me or about you? Uh, me. So I got an STD check a couple days ago. Okay. And I went to the doctor, like my actual doctor back home. Is I was it like, positive? No. Well, I don't know yet. But, <laughs> but I was in the office and I was like, yeah, I'm here to get an STD check. And he acted like I. I it's kind of a conservative place where I'm, where yeah. my my dad lives. He, he acted like you got STD. No, no. I'm sitting there and I'm like, yeah, I just need an STD check. And he's like okay, like, are you having symptoms? And I was like, no, like, I just want to make sure, like, I'm good. And he's like, okay, well, that's just kind of weird. Like, he's basically like, basically, like, why he's, are you in he's here? He's slush-shaming you? No, he's not slush-shaming me. He's like, well, I just don't know if insurance is going to cover it, like, if you don't really have a reason why you're in here. And I'm just like, why? I don't understand. Like, I'm getting checked. Like, what? I've never had this question asked before. Like, why are you getting an STD check? Because I want to make sure I don't have STDs. And he's like, well, it's just kind of weird. Usually people in a monogamous relationship don't need to come in here. And I'm like, I'm not in a monogamous relationship. <laughs> that is so funny. In a that concern- is the weirdest thing it to is say so to funny. It is so, so funny in a conservative state, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to me. No, and he was like, and I was like getting pissed at this guy. And he kind of acted weird, too. And he was like. Even when I was leaving, I was like, bye, have a good day. And he's like, bye. Like, it was so fucking Maybe weird. he's gay. I was so annoyed with this guy. No, he had a wedding ring everything. Like, 
It's a very concerning you know, you part never of town. Know, I was super annoyed. They were like, "They're gays." He was like, "Are you having days. any symptoms?" No, Especially like, in conservative is states. It, it, is that weird? Like, I was like, "Fuck this!" I'm never going to the doctors. I'm going to Planned Parenthood every time. They don't ask you questions like that. Like, mm-hmm. they understand. Like, oh, you're just here to. I don't know what's Planned Parenthood, by the way, but keep going. It's basically just like one of the no like he- leading places in like abortions, birth control, uh. And STD the, checks. The gutter like, clinic. Like, basically, it's mostly, like, a safe place for women, kind of. But, like, I've been to Planned Parenthood, too, to get checked. And, like, they don't, like, they just know. Like Here's the website for Planned Parenthood. <laughs> it was so weird. But the nice thing is they took my blood. Every other place I've gone to, they've never taken my blood. I just did a pee test, and then they just tell me. This place, I, like... Got my blood drawn. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, no, I did. I want another place. They're responsible. But they're, that's what I like. About the, but that's what I like. They're about the, judgmental. That's what I like about but the they're, actual doctors. They're responsible. It's like yeah, I pay. I'm paying at a doctor because you know Ben and them. They go to like a free place. Yeah, like I went to. Free, a, yeah. I went to that free place. Did you get your blood drawn? Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe they do it just as well. It's very thorough. I don't understand why they're free. Like who the fuck is paying for it? The government because it costs more when you if you actually get AIDS and it, it costs more human capital. That's true. That's true. But you can but do that. You can I, get it for I free in pay. a lot of places. I know. I should have just waited to come back here and do it. But I was like, I have the time off now. Like, let me just do it. Like, I'm back home. I I think I ended up paying like a hundred bucks like after my insurance. But I was like, whatever. I, I just want to make sure because I, I haven't gotten an STD check in like eight, maybe you got six it from your ex. Months. I don't know, dude, but... Did you check before you had sex with your ex? Um, no. Yeah, she might have had sex. He got it. No, I got checked after my ex. But the thing is, is like, some, some a lot of STDs, you have to wait like months after. I, I'm f- pretty sure she's good. Here's the thing, too. I pulled out of her and came on her, and she was mad. She was like, why didn't you come inside me? <laughs> and I was like... Okay, I need to see her. <laughs> I was like, why would I come inside you? And she was like, because you know I think it's... She really likes me. Like, we're like... We don't, we like kind, we get along, but we have a lot of resentment towards each other because we've done a lot of things to each other in the past and that were negative and we're not like over it. It's kind of like we get brought up, but like we're super sexually open shit, with each sh- other. Give us, give each like, other that's shit That's one thing that I miss. Like that's the one thing I really like about her. It's like we're se- super sexually open with each other. Like I actually wanted to start like a, a porno channel with her. Like that's something that I actually realized I want to do. Like I want... A girlfriend. In Are the you future. turning this thing into a porno channel no, right now? No, I'm just saying. Like, I actually want that in the future. I want to like. I think that'd be hot. I wouldn't have my face in it, but like, I want to have. I I realize this. I want to have a, a a a channel on Pornhub. Okay. But like, you know, Are we starting a channel right now? <laughs> on Pornhub? Fuck it. <laughs> Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> do our three ways. But yeah, I would totally do a fucking porno with her. You know the one thing that I didn't like though? Mm. I'm an ass guy. Like I'll fuck girls in the ass. Oh I mean, my I'm just god! Getting, I'm just getting deep on this, but I'm being serious, dude. And yeah, you're definitely gonna get STD. Do you do you think that YouTube will fucking? They might get on this one. So we have to mo- put multiple beep on this video. No, that's we why. Have to put that's beep. why I didn't post it. You know, I was like, uh, dude, your breath smells yeah. so bad, dude. Come on. So do you have gum or something? Yeah. Just talk so. forward. <laughs> why does your breath smell so bad? Uh, but it's because of the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, the there's a research show that if you don't curse in the video, you get you get a lot Fire more likes. watch. You get a lot more watch time. Yeah, but I hate it. I hate that. No, you gotta do it. It's not me. It's so not me. So when I start my YouTube channel, I'm just gonna. I it's not gonna be PC. So anything weird happened during New Year, Desmond? I uh, no. Actually, for New Year's, I was pretty proud of really? myself. No. I, I got invited to do a bunch of different things and I purposely stayed inside and worked on this product because I said, I'm going to start the new year sober and working on something productive that I want. I want to feel good going into the new year. So I, I worked on this product all night and look, it turned out, it's turning out well. So I'm, I'm happy. Like people are always like, oh, it's a new year and they party and they're like, it's like, they're not actually starting the new year straight. Like the third, like. First of all, I don't even believe in the new year. Like, you should just start working on something whenever you do. This just mm-hmm. happened to work out with my time frame because I went back home and said, "This is when I'm gonna work on the video," and I edited it like two days before. Mm-hmm. 
two days before. But Thursday. New Year's a bit, to me, New Year's about family. You know, like it you is, hang yeah. out with your family. Oh no, fuck no, no. a couple cousins. I spent, no, you know, no, no, like, yeah, not actually on New Year's. I did, but like you have to think. I went back home for two weeks, so I spent a lot of time with my family. Not necessarily on New Year's Day, but like that whole general time period. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I just, just say keep fucking. Drinking. Yeah, just just yeah, just fuck your cousins or whatever you know. Just enjoy your new year. I mean, it's about family. It's still about family. Right. Yeah, don't fuck your cousins. Just kidding. Well, I mean, but you got raped by your uncle, right? Fuck you! You got raped by your uncle. Is that what happened? That's why you don't go no. out during New Year, right? You literally said that. You said that when you were younger, you would go out and play no. with your uncle. You'd play. No, you said your uncle would play with you. Yeah, you said that when you were younger. Yeah, uncle, he would play with me. Your uncle would play with you, and that he would, he loved you very deeply. Like those were your exact words. He loved you very deeply, like deep. This is America. <laughs> but that's what you said. Yeah, does he, he love you deep? Like how how deep does he love you? Like two inches, five inches. I'm just I'm Shut up, that's what... Alright, alright, man, I'm just wondering. I feel no. like I've done most of the talking in this no, podcast. No, because... Because I have a lot to say. Well, my... Own, uh, fuck. You kind of get me sensitive about this, you know, like... Why? Oh, did you actually get raped? Fuck you. Well, why are you sensitive? No, because I actually love my uncle oh, deeper you... than my dad. Like, my relationship like, with my uncle is, be- is deeper like than my dad. A, he has a bigger dick? Fuck so you. he can go deeper in terms of love, or what? Well, I'm just trying to. All right, I'm sorry. So you have a good relationship with your uncle. When did you talk to him last? Uh, about. Is that how he loves you? Uh, yeah, that's how I. That's how I love you, Desmond. No, is that how? That's your how uncle I love you. you. In and out, just like that. Yeah, just like that. Is that about how much just he loves like you too? Yeah, just the like length that. Of that. You see that? Nice. That right there. Cool. Okay, so. Yeah, so he, uh, yeah, I haven't talked to him for years. He was gone for a while, and, uh, like, I feel like, uh, you know, all these, um, humor thing is like, like, ah, uh, shit. It's like, uh, the reason I said the New Year's about your family is because, like, it's, it's such a time where every family goes together and you just get to see them. And you usually don't, you know, nowadays. And then, you know, whatever you are, whoever you are, they will still, you know, they forgive you, you know, they still love you, and uh, they don't judge you about yourself, and then they, they're not like, uh, yeah. Like, like, okay, after after my uncle died, he, um... What's up, John? What's up? We are, we're adorable. That's, that's John over there. There we go. Jacob Jr. Join our threesome. Smith. Join our, join our threesome. Kind of. Join our threesome. Come. Oh. Show your face. So your so your so so the girls who are watching this can maybe be, yeah. there's only oh. one one yeah, girl who obviously is. Obviously, we're yeah. gonna get hundreds of thousands of views. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yes, we will. Okay. So so after my uncle died, I was like. I don't feel. I don't <laughs> feel. Jumping right into a dog. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel comfortable. Oh, around okay, my John. Anymore. That's cool. No, don't worry yeah. about it. Anyway, so my uncle died. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what you did. I was kind of sen- sentiment dude, right I'm now. Fucking strong, dude. That's okay. I mean, like when my uncle after my uncle died, I feel like you know, like because he's the he's like, when I was a kid, I cared him the most, like even more than my dad, because he was not wasn't around that much when I was younger, so. Are you kissing your arm? What the fuck do you do there? Okay. Anyway. 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 Anyway, like when I when my uncle died, I feel like every, like everybody doesn't li- love him, so I feel like okay, if you don't love him, I don't, I'm not gonna love you. You know, just wait. What? So nobody else in your family loves your uncle, so you took it upon you to love him the most to make up for it. No, I just kind of push my family away. It's like, I don't, I, I just be like, hey, you're my family, but I don't want to be that close with you, you know. That's confusing. So, okay, so, you know, in Asian culture, like, your fa- your family doesn't show compassion a lot. Like It's like, okay, you're my son. Oh, you're doing well. Cool. You know, you don't, you don't show like, your oh, I love you. Your tell you they love you? No. 
So that's the difference. That's super sad. Yeah, that's the difference. No, I I know they are. They show with their actions. They don't show it with their words. Instead of in America, parents say, "I love you, fuck you." They don't love you. They don't care about you. You know. No, I think a lot of parents care about kids. With words. No, no, no. My like. No, I think it's words and the way they treat them. Yeah, yeah. So in anyway, I in, think everyone cares about their kids for the most part. Yeah, it just it just like like in anyway in Asia like they don't your parents or your kids, they they don't we don't say it with words. So when I was a kid and my uncle died, everybody was like, it just they just show up for the for the funeral, but they don't really, mm, they right. don't really show their okay. They don't really be like, hey, I I really we really, really love your uncle. You know, he's gotcha. a really good guy. Yeah, I've noticed. They don't that, say like, that, you know. China, China, like in China, like Asians in general are not very expressive. Yeah. Do you think that's a cultural thing? Like, do you think do you, it's not? I don't think it's genetics. Like, I think it's... It's a culture. Yeah, because this girl, actually the ex that we were just talking about back home, she's... Uh, uh, that was your ex? No, no, no. What? No, okay. she's... She is totally Americanized. Like, she was basically... Oh, uh, a banana. But she is Thai. Yeah, banana, so, like, Thai banana. What does that mean? It's like yellow outside, white inside. Yeah, like she, basically. Her, yeah, she's white inside. She's, she's like, she grew up white, yeah. Yeah, she's a banana. Yeah, she's straight up white. But she's so emotional. That's one thing that annoys me. She's so emotional, dude. She gets upset about everything. Like, she's, I don't know, she's just very girly and emotional, which, like, you know how, like, there's a spectrum of, like, emotional girls. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? There's yeah, a spectrum. Easily sc- spiked. She's, like, yeah, but she's not, like, she's just, like, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, she's just, um, she's, she's not, like, like she's not... Like gossipy and shit. She's just like, I hate this. I hate that. Gets, she's not even negative necessarily. She just gets like, she just has to talk about her feelings a lot. That's that's just being girls. Let's no, be honest. No, no, but I'm telling you, like, she's extra. Like, I've dated girls and like I get it, mm-hmm. but that's all she fucking like, like over the top. Like, it's like, she's a girl plus mm-hmm. extra. That's good. But she's Thai, so it's interesting because I don't think her parents are like that at all. Her parents are like much more reserved, I think. So it's totally cultural. Yeah, that's because American. If she had that's been American. Born in Thailand, she's American. Nice. She probably would have. She would have had the same emotions, but, but she would have been expressive. forced to hold them down. Yeah. Yeah. I was like that. I was holding them down when I was in China. Mm. That sounds awful. Yeah, I don't hold that's them down. That's probably why anyone who goes to China that's from like the uh, like West, the West world, like not the West world, but basically anyone from the West who goes to China is probably a lot more successful with girls because they're more free in terms of expressiveness. Yeah. And the girls are probably in- attracted to that because mm-hmm. the men are the men there are told to, like, hold it in. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just easy. Yeah, they're, uh... Like, there's, there's such... Like, the competition is shitty. Yeah, they're the very Machiavellian. In... Their mans are more Machiavellian. In yeah, yeah, countries. like, they're yeah. demasculated in China, I feel like. Do you think so? In or a no? way, in a way, okay. in a way, yeah. You know, in, in Asia, in general, like, even in, like, when I went to Tokyo, it was like, yeah, it was, when I went in Japan, it's like, they're just, yeah, super demasculated in a way, I guess. You know, you're supposed to be polite, you're supposed to be nice, you're supposed to be... I feel like if I went there, from chalky. what I heard, like, if I go to, like, Thailand, I would kill it. Like, I would get a shit ton of girls. But what would the quality of those girls be? You know what I mean? That's the other thing. I mean, see, the th- the difference is when you go to Asia, white guys find four or five, like, like cheesy Asian girls, like a 10. You know, you know how many, you have no idea how many Asian actors that I see on, on movies. So they're like four and fives in Asia mm-hmm. and they're tens to Americans. And you ask me why uh, why I like ugly girls some white girls sometimes because to me they're 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 worth more than to me than to you, 
And the same thing when I see Asian girls there, which are like four and fives, you see them as ten. I just I just don't talk about it because maybe. no, we just don't, you know, because it's Ugh. yeah, but yeah, yeah. maybe maybe. Um, but I've I've dated two two Asian girls and both very Americanized. There's the Thai girl, and then there was one from Vietnam. And actually, they're they're both like cute. I thought they were both cute. I'll show you. Well, but their photos aren't as good as they are. But the one from Vietnam, uh, she was hot, dude. She was like she had one of the best bodies I'd ever, I'd ever seen. And it was like hidden. You couldn't tell. She like, like I remember like the first time we hooked up. She like took her clothes off, and I was like, "You were hiding all of that." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's got a good, great body sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, anyways, remember beforehand we were talking about the girl? Uh, my ex, yeah, one thing I don't like, she doesn't like anything anal. Oh, so you, so that's why you broke up? No, 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 no that's not why, but it that's annoys me. <laughs> Cause like we've been fucking. Lucky you, you won't get H- H- S- STD. We've from been her. fucking for so long, and it's like she wouldn't even. Nah, dude, my other exes would do it. Like, the other girls I dated for like long periods of time, and we were like fucking all the time, and we were super close. Like, they were totally down to try anal, and then they actually ended up enjoying it. Why? Did you try? Did I try getting? No, it? did you did you try with her or? You, oh when you yeah, I've told her that I want to, and like I pushed and I could do it. Like if I pushed it harder, but like, she's not like just down to like even a little bit. Like, she wouldn't even let me do anything with like my fingers while I'm like fucking her. She like freaked out. Yeah, I would like, recommend like, a I would like, recommend a enema yeah. verse. No, I know I've done it before. Like I know how to build girls up to and stuff. But like, she. We actually did. We did anal one time, and she actually enjoyed it because, like, I, the way I worked it up. But like, she's just not. <laughs> but she was just like. Want to join our anal talk? <laughs> but she was just like not. She's just like it was weird. It was weird. It kind of annoys me. Exactly. So, that was interesting. Stand listen for a bit. We're pretty much done, dude. Like we've been going for twenty seven minutes. It's time. Hey John, it's time to. Out it's time to end this, dude. We should wrap this up. It's like thirty minutes long. No one's gonna make it this far. Okay, so New Year's Eve. Anything fun New Year's Eve? Were you working on your video when you were on we, New Year's Eve? Why are we? Let's just wrap this up, dude. Okay. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Happy New Year. Okay. <laughs> All right. Happy New Year. We'll do another <laughs> one soon.